Hello friends and welcome to some bot on bot action. Today we have Zozo versus Evil Zoe on Glittering Ashes. Now, if you're confused as to what this is, I've made a video before explaining how these bots get made, by who and all of that stuff. But right now we have more important things as we have some uh, high APM probe rushing coming in out of Zozo, who is a uh, Protoss bot here. And Evil Zoe is a Zerg bot. I believe it's the... I had a description of Evil Zoe. Let me quickly read it. It is the evil twin of Zoe, which started out as a worker rush practice partner for Zoe when she was getting stomped by nibbles on the ladder. She has since then fleshed out her portfolio and plays a variety of aggressive openings. Well, good luck with your aggressive openers here, uh, Evil Zoe, because you're about to get stomped by some probe rushing once more. <laughs> I guess worker rushing is relatively common. I hadn't quite expected that. I would have thought... Ooh, this micro is really impressive, by the way. Look at that. Ooh, that was sick. What's the worker lost? Okay, one unit lost right now. What's the APM during this? Look at that. 20k. Oh. I guess ideally you want to keep at least one worker mining if you're evil Zoe here. And if a probe gets too low, maybe you want to send it back to start mining at home. The controller is really sick. So they're probably continuously clicking... Like, they're using mineral walking, but I don't see which patch they're using. Are they using patches at home to mineral walk on? Because I don't see the right clicks on mineral patches. I see the right click on the ground, but that's it. But there ov there's obviously no collision. And for the people that don't know, if you right click on a mineral patch with a worker, that unit will not uh, have collision anymore with other units, allowing you for this type of micro, which is, by the way, really tight. There's no mining whatsoever. I feel like leaving one worker at home to mine would always be worth it here if you're the worker rusher because you're forcing off a lot of drones the entire time who's winning this though i guess we, we can kind of judge by just purely the drone hp and the probe hp drones regain and probes also regain shields i guess look at that this is really sick i'm gonna see that apm again the problem is the moment the pool finishes and two links come out the game just ends because probes can trade well against links so there's about a, what, like a 20 second window left in which these probes need to win the game. Otherwise, it seems to me like it's completely over. The current score is also 11 versus 20. So this has not been the, <laughs> the most successful probe rush. Who would have thought? It's pretty insane to me that, you know, after 12 years, humans had figured out within like two weeks or so that probe rushing wasn't that viable. But these uh, slow, slow brained AIs. Taking them years to figure out that uh, <laughs> that a probe rush isn't the optimal solution. Now she's going to be sent back home with all the probes. That's pretty sad. This is just a sad retreat. Oh, that's nice control. It's actually really nice control. I really like that. I wonder if there's any follow-ups here. I don't think so. I mean, the only follow-up that I can imagine is... No, actually, I can't imagine any follow-up. There's just too many, too many links. Although, wait, wait, what? They go again? Surely that is the incorrect call. 10 probes against 8 links. Oh? Oh? Excuse me? What? I think that Zozo lost more probes against the drones than Zozo has lost against the links. Look at this! This is working, and more drones are being pulled one by one as well. This is pretty sick. Surely against the queen, though, a range unit, this is not as possible. Because then the microing back doesn't quite work as well. More drones are being pulled. Oh no, evil Zoe being tricked into chasing these probes. This is awful for evil Zoe. What a sick defense initially into this. Attack result zero. Zero mineral, zero gas. Hey, maybe the attack result for you was zero. My man Zozo here is doing a fantastic job. What is this crap? Average APM floating around 5k for both here, by the way. It's funny that sometimes it does drop down to like four or 500 anyway. Really sick. Once again, attack result. What is this? Attack result zero. Is that like an evaluation of, of, of what they consider the attack to be worth on a scale from like zero to 10? Oh, now a recall. Okay, so... Basically, they're checking, hey, how did I do? How many workers did I kill? And then you just get a recall. Or maybe the moment you see a queen, they recall because they realize it's not worth it anymore. 
I like that they recalled rather than running back home. That was a sick trick. And now Evil Zoe is the one that's pretty dead. There's one Ling remaining. The one thing you could do is with one Ling, maybe pop into the main base and trick the stupid AI into chasing you around the entire time. I'm not sure if this type of stuff actually works. I'm planning on uh, next week or maybe in a week or two to get one of the, the pro bots guys uh, in an interview while I play against one of uh, their bots. I think it would be proper fun. So I can ask this type of question rather than me speculating by myself. Maybe the one that won the most recent pro bot season. Because I feel like this type of stuff would be sick. You know, send him one link and just kind of run it around the mineral line attacking it. This always work against the regular AI, you know? You can even just issue an attack command against like the blizzard ai and then the probes already start chasing you like a bunch of clowns i guess these ais are just a lot more sophisticated than whatever the heck it was that blizzard made up uh, what, 12 years or so ago but we're six minutes in we have a unit's loss tab of 18 <laughs> 18 drones and 14 links and all that has gone down on the side of zozo were six probes which is pretty sick are they still speed mining I don't think there's, there's any speed mining going on here. Is there speed mining here? I don't think so, right? Uh, only, uh, right? Only on the return then, I guess? Here there's no speed mining, that's for sure. This looks normal. So, for the people not aware of what speed mining is, if you right-click and shift-click on the Nexus, they return the minerals a little bit faster, and I think you increase your mining speed by, like... Was it like 13% or so? So you can see how fast the that, that last second here is. And they also always get selected to make that final move. And that's why the APM is also consistently fairly high. And the more drones there are, um, the more uh, the higher the APM gets, because more drones, you know, need to need to do this little move. So it adds it adds up a little bit. Because there's no APM limits on those bolts, which is really cool. You get to see some absolutely mental stuff, like the initial probe micro. And Right now we have 9 workers against 16 workers here. And I guess this is still pretty similar. Like 560 against 800 mineral income. It's Oh, but there's also gas mining already. I didn't even realize that. So yeah, the, the, the mining is fairly impressive, is what I'm trying to say. At least I find the mining fairly impressive. One of the funny things is, though, is that whenever you, for a millisecond, uh, not have to mine automatically, the hatchery... Uh, the worker tab shows something different. So it's like 5 out of 16, 6 out of 16, constantly bouncing back and forth, which in my mind, I find it pretty funny. But it, it's not hilarious. You tell this at a birthday, I don't think anyone's going to laugh. And you probably get kicked out of your friend group for a good reason as well. Like if that's your, uh, your idea of a top joke, then out of the friend group you go. Out of the, the group chat as well. Boom, kicked out. No more friends for you. Go find a new group. Or make better jokes. And then have like, they should do this for friend groups. Where you have like, a, basically an audition before you get into a friend group, you know? Sometimes there's people that secretly join a friend group through like their significant other. And I feel like this should be banned. There should be a, a process there where it's like, well, it's nice and all, you know, that you, you manage to uh, start dating one of our friends. But we need you to prove that you're truly worthy of the friend group. You know, like an entrance exam. You just give them like a questionnaire of like 25 questions, which then everyone gets to judge anonymously. I think that would be a, a good solution here. To be fair, if I would ever be given a questionnaire to join a party or a friend group chat, I probably would not want to be joining the group chat. So it's really a double-edged sword there. You kind of want it, but you also can't do it. This is some tight micro, but they're backing themselves into the corner here, which is obviously a mistake. Uh... Ooh, Void Ray coming out already. But there's one Queen here too. Actually, Evil Zoe managed to kind of get back into the game here. Which is fairly impressive. It was nine workers against one. That speed mining really something, huh? Was this all speed mining though? I'm not sure if it was. I don't do mathematics. I think a, l a little bit of it was. Okay, first Queen did go down. Second Queen popping out right now is going to shoot this Void Ray for a little bit. Hmm. I think that Void Ray eventually is going to end up falling now. Does look like look at that control on the queen. Pop, pop, pop. I love that the void ray has no priority on the queen either. Maybe the Zozo is like a a rather a primitive bot. That's possible. You know, only doing the the worker rushes, like the a true caveman. I kind of like the thought of that. That there's a guy that 
just spends the entire day on coding this bot into being the ultimate pro rusher. You know, the, in the long run, it's not going to end up working, but I feel like there's something powerful about it. <clears throat> you know, there were guys back in the back in the day, you know, in like the caveman times, when other people already were using like the bow and arrow, and they were still just running around with like a club, and they didn't want to learn how to use the bow and arrow because you know it, it looked boring and sophisticated didn't need as much strength like more like precision and agility like other other skills basically they just kept going with the club and eventually like everyone else was too good with the bow and arrow they probably had to start making armor and that type of stuff i feel like zozo is the guy with the club here you know he's just brute forcing his way dish, dish. adios my friend two void rays against one queen though that's a very good fight there's a transfuse available on this queen, but it's practically useless if there's no second queen available to help that out. There is a bit of a run by going on into the main base. Is this pro... <laughs> that was sick! That probably didn't think turn around to kill that thing. Attack result minus 269. Nice. 300 to 600 minerals, 100 to 75 gas. Oh, they just... All the trades they're doing... I guess they don't count probes or something? Because in every probe trade, they just said attack result 0, zero right? The thing that still kind of surprised me, or maybe confuses me, is that Evil Zoe figured out that it was a worker rush. I guess if... I guess you could like hard code that in. If you see more than six workers at like the one minute mark, it's a worker rush. And you do one of these uh, cheeky void lines. Voice lines, what do you call them? Chat lines, I guess. These guys are ultimate at setting up chatbots as well. I remember I used to flame the chatbot on MSN a lot. Yeah, like these chatbots you could talk with. Like companies would put them on MSN and then you just flame them a bunch. They have like five or six responses and would always tr try to sell you a phone phone subscription. There was a guy called Chatman, I think, that I remember chatting with and just flaming the ever living crap out. I don't think anyone actually ever bought a phone subscription from Chatman. I do remember a lot of his responses to my the bad words that I sent uh, that said Chatman's way. Had a sick commercial on the TV as well, Chatman. Like a very catchy song. Blah. Blah blah. Bloody bloody blah. That 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 that. I wonder if that commercial also aired in other countries. Or just in the Netherlands. I bet it did. True banger. Alright. Uh Spreading Creep is <laughs> the creep is insane by the way. I hadn't even noticed this. During all of this, I guess all you need really is four active tumors and you got yourself a creep highway. Uh, the problem is, is that these queens were caught out of position a little bit. Now the void rays are moving in. They're going to be... Oh, the roach. I like the counterattacks. Evil Zoe is pretty clever. Seeing, hey, there's a bunch of void rays. I have no anti-air. Maybe I can counterattack. I'd love to see some spores being built, though. But maybe spores are not in the repertoire. That is possible. It's a French word, by the way. I took two years, of, two years of French in high school. So I know a little bit. But yeah, not in the, the repertoire here, the spores. Doesn't seem to be the case. There's too many void rays. In my mind, this game is absolutely over right now. But maybe these uh, weird moving roaches can actually get something done. Nah, one void ray will figure it out, right? Eventually. A lot of these workers will end up going down, though. Look at the control here. Like a little dance party for idiots. This is what I look like when I dance as well. But I always believe it looks better. Okay, current APM is 14,000 because the roaches are... Uh, Going well, they actually do force back these uh, void rays, giving Zoe or Evil Zoe a little bit of breeding room. And one starts to wonder if it's still possible. And if you just continuously build links here for the count. Oh, and Burrow! That is brilliant! Attack result minus 1100. I really like the Burrow. Continuously forcing this army back as well. Look at this! Single Roach is just going to keep forcing this. This is so smart. That is actually really sick. It's like a noob check, you know? It's like, hey, do you have detection? No. Okay, you're gonna be annoyed by my Budo Droches the entire time. I freaking love this so much. That is kind of brilliant. I'd love to see some queens in production, though. Like some spores. Basically, all you need to do right now is kill the Void Rays. That's eight Void Rays, though. It takes a while, doesn't it, to kill Void Rays? I wonder if you were to give this position to Raynor, if Raynor would be capable of winning. Against a bot, you know? I wish we could do that. Take over replays with Raynor against bots. Oh, that would be sick. You could just run by, you have Burrow, 
you could like hatch in the sides or on the sides, what do you call it? Like proxy hatches. The problem is if these guys go across the map and these units stay at home, that is an issue. What I can see happening here, for example, is that these links and roaches get triggered by the stalkers and go like, oh, I want to fight that, and then get murdered by these void rays, which is the incorrect call, because you want to counterattack with this army. But of course, you see the stalkers and they're like, oh, I don't want to counterattack. And they start going a little bit wild. Stalkers kind of well, like crazy. Look at that. Brrr. They seem to really have figured this part of the micro out really well. I like the Budo micro ones more. Are these void rays? Oh, they're chasing a single roach. Look at that. Pop. You know, oh, I was going to say you're never going to catch it, but apparently you do end up catching the roaches. Uh, that sucks. There is Budo. Uh, this feels pretty over at this point, I think. It is Anything is always possible because you don't know how these bots respond to certain things. But I, I just don't see any threats going to the other side either, which is an issue. Like there's some links over here. You have continuous void ray production. These mineral patches still have like, what, four or five, maybe six, seven void rays in them. So there's going to be constant void ray production for quite a while, which is an issue. Because every single time you set a run by out, there will just be a void ray there to deal with it, which means you can't really kill this. And that is the true problem here. At least in my mind, that is the true problem. Yeah, the void rays are just gonna clean up all of those drones as well. And, uh, pool. I mean, at this point, I don't think there's anything that can be done. Like, I appreciate the patrolling of this one spot next to the creep tumor. But that's not going to be a their evil zone. It's all over. Oh, no. It is over. There. It truly is what it is. Attack result zero. I don't think the attack result matters anymore, mate. You're dead. You're absolutely dead. This is like uh, sending a message to the king. After the king has been captured, you know, like the messenger walked from the, the front of the palace going, Sir, you've been captured. It's like, yeah, I know. My hands are tied, bound behind my head. And I'm like, uh, they're about to burn me. They used to do stuff with the horses back in the day, didn't they? It's a nasty punishment. Oh, come on. This is evil. What? This is torture. This is worse than the stuff with the horses. What is this? This is actual torture. Just leaving this extractor there. Unbelievable. Alright, GG. Zozo wins. Nice. Fun little game here. Um, I'm going back a bit into uh, this bot stuff. I uh, got my interest peaked once more. Um, so yeah, I'm going to be uh, doing some stuff there. If you guys have any suggestions when it comes to that, be sure to leave that in the comments down below. If you don't have any suggestions, be sure to hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. And hopefully I'll see all of you next time for a new video. Thank you so much for watching and bye-bye.